blow up with me after being sick for seven days. Just rub the rest of I am problematic, so. Oh my, that's so embarrassing. I just went out in public and there's ink all over my hand. back to my channel today is the first day that i am feeling slightly better after being sick but i'm up i'm up and i feel like that's a good step for slowly moving forward today's video is going to be a glow up with me after being sick for seven days I've been sick with para-influenza, which is not the same as influenza, it's actually different. I did a big Google on it, but it's not COVID. However, I've had COVID and para-influenza was worse, in my opinion. It was too much. So I decided to do a slow glow up with me, just a slow process just to get me out into society again. I also just want to feel a bit like a girl again. We're gonna do our nails, we're gonna do our skincare routine, we're gonna do our hair. We're just gonna feel ourselves again. So yeah. Just kidding, I'm still sick. The other day I started filming my glow up vlog and I was very optimistic to the point of manic. Like I really thought I was better and I was really in denial like that was full-blown denial i think you can really hear in my voice that i was still sick and i crashed real hard at the end of the day turns out it's like in my sinuses now so you can probably still hear in my voice that it's still affecting my like nasal cavity so i still have a headache I, my ears are blocked i'm still speaking like this i'm still congested um, and blowing my nose. I think the power influenza is gone and I'm now just left with like sinusitis. I'm gonna go and get some antibiotics so that we can finally end this and we can finally glow up because I, I'm sick of it. This morning, although I'm still not well, I have the energy, not a lot of it, but I have the energy and I wanted to move my body. So I have already done a workout. I did a weighted workout just I took it really easy I swear um, I did a barbell workout and with really really light weights at some points I wasn't even using weights I was just using the bell I mean the barbell oh thank you okay so we've got the antibiotics my ears are literally exploding every time I'm in a car it's like I'm, I feel like I'm in an aeroplane. So this is a five day course. Please don't tell me I have to wait five days, another five days to feel better. Like, not me starting a glow up video and I'm still sick. Sorry guys. I really thought, I really thought we had it. I really thought I was better. Take one capsule three times a day. What is the time? Okay, whatever. We're gonna start right now. One capsule three times a day. I brought my protein shake to go. I use the Naked Harvest. Not that you care. <clears throat> We're medicated. Let's go fam. Let's get better.
just had my everything shower and well actually everything but my hair shower because I'm not up to it right now <sighs> we're gonna leave that for another day probably tomorrow but oh my gosh the echo I do want to do my skincare with you guys tonight I started off the year doing gua sha which is something that I want to keep doing so we're gonna get back into it got my little gua sha and I've just been using this mecca oil so I've cleansed my face in the shower I'm going to do an extra little step just to really make sure I'm fully cleansed I like can hardly hear myself speak because my ears are blocked from my sinuses so I, I'm sorry if I'm speaking weird I don't even know if anything I'm saying is coming out so I just use a micellar water I tend to grab this one Garnier just because it's cheap it's easy it's at Kohl's and I just need I basically just need to get into my pores and just get the rest of the gunk out because cleansing is not enough like I personally never skip this step because it's just makes me feel like my skin's actually clean oh my god I literally sound like a robot <sighs> sorry about the nasal voice guys so just let that dry so I'm gonna go in with uh, this is a hyaluronic acid by Esme or Esme skin minerals not much to say about it it's just a serum I like it because it's hydrating and that's what my skin loves hydration I actually have combination skin sometimes it's oily sometimes it's dry but most, I feel like mostly it's just like it's not dry, it just loves being hydrated. And then go in with my Fenty Skin Under Eye Cream, Gel Cream. So this is nearly finished. I've used it to the death, I love it so much. I use it day and night, but I'm not sure if it's just a night. Big fan. Now it's time for gua sha. So just a little bit goes a long way. Let's work it. I've been watching some YouTube videos on how to do it properly. I personally still don't really know, <laughs> but I think it's just because of the type of gua sha I have, like that like I just don't it doesn't really curve to my cheekbones so I find it really kind of weird to use you gotta open up your um whatever these are called lymph nodes just to open them up I don't know how you know if you're doing it right don't judge because like <laughs> I'm still learning because right now I'm just doing random stuff just rub the rest of the oil in So I'm going to take another one of the antibiotics. This is my third for the day. It's actually like, it's nine o'clock. So glowing up for me isn't just about physical appearance or physical things, you know, like my space. That is definitely critical and crucial. But a huge part of glowing up for me 
is my set and obviously when you're sick you're really not in the best mindset you are really sad you're really uncomfortable you feel really gross and you feel really bored you have cabin fever and you just miss being well uh, and i had all those feelings you're so sick that you can't even enjoy doing nothing like you i just sat on my bed and binge watched netflix shows i binge watched friends i binge watched um, the new Netflix show, Falls of Us, Fall, Don't Fool Me, what's it called? Fool Me Once. Um, I watched that whole series. Um, scrolled on Instagram, YouTube, like I did all the, all the things and it was, it wasn't exactly enjoyable. Like I didn't find doing all those things, like consuming content, um, enjoyable because of how sick I was, like I couldn't breathe, uh, I was in pain, like I always had a headache and sleeping was really difficult because I couldn't breathe. So you just in such a negative headspace. That's just normal because you're really uncomfortable and you're just expressing, expressing your frustration. But I don't want to get into the habit of that, absolutely not. And you guys know that I'm a big believer in manifestation which is whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you feel about, you bring about. Um, and so I really want to get myself back into a positive mindset, just back into feeling like myself again, especially since I started off the year doing my 2024 vision board. I was so ready. I was like, this is exactly what I'm going to manifest this year. This is what I want to work towards. These are my goals, my intentions. This is the person that I want to be and show up as. Then I just like, hit me, this sickness. And I, and I literally, everything went out the window. All my 2024 outs were back in. <laughs> like con overconsumption was in. Sleeping in, going to bed late, not working out, like all was it back in. So that's why I want to get back into the routine of showing up as my best self, feeling like my best self, and, and just getting back in tune with my intuition. It's Sunday night, it's a new week tomorrow, I'm going to get straight back into routine of reading in the evening and doing a meditation before bed. So that's what I'm going to do now to end off the evening and I'm not going to scroll, I'm not going to do all the things that I normally do. That was last night. <laughs> Tonight's a new night. <laughs> Monday today so the next day I can't believe how much I did yesterday like I really did too much but I'm actually feeling all right today I'm feeling good a little run down just because I did work out again this morning um, just an upper body like nothing too dramatic um, and I just have a few errands to run today and then I'm just gonna go home and rest so I am feeling better I don't know if that's just like placebo of the antibiotics like the moment I took the first one I was like I'm healed <laughs> Anyways, I am problematic, so. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's great, that's just fantastic. So on the list today, I've just had to do a quick post office run, so I've done that. And I wanna get my nails done. So that's gonna be the next thing I'm gonna do on this glow up journey. So it's obviously from the last, oh my God, look at the ink on my hands. Um, oh my, that's so embarrassing. I just went out in public and there's ink all over my hands. So, this isn't even gonna... No, it's not working. Um, anyways, so I'm gonna go get my nails done. I haven't made an appointment because I didn't know how I'd feel today. But they really, they're usually pretty good with walk-in. So I'm just gonna take my chance. And usually if you walk in and they're busy, they just say come back in like five minutes. Good morning guys, 
it is Wednesday today, which means that it is officially third or fourth day of the school journey. Um, I washed my hair, I put a coconut oil treatment in it. So I love doing the coconut oil treatment because it just leaves my hair feeling really shiny and also um, it helps with length. Like my hair is super long. I'm actually going to get it trimmed very soon at the end of this month, but I want to keep the length so I won't be cutting it any shorter, but it's literally past my boobs. I used to have so much trouble with growing my hair, so yeah, highly recommend coconut oil. I'm going to end off with a hair oil. This is a hydrating hair treatment oil. It's from Frula, um, Frula Beauty, and I actually like it as sort of like an after sort of like an after you've washed and blow dried your hair kind of thing like an end off situation so just run that through my ends give it a bit of a shine uh, I've basically just gotten ready for the day I have a bit of work to do so I'm gonna do that but I want it to look and feel put together because that's the whole point of this glow up video just to end off I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a scent. So I'm gonna use the Daisy Marc Jacobs, sorry, the Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs. This is the cutest packaging, I'm literally obsessed. Also, the nails, we did the nails. This made a huge difference, I'm not gonna lie. And then yeah, just to finish off. So I'm just gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed coming on this journey with me. It was pretty real, <laughs> obviously. I am glad that you guys made it to this point of the video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.